This video is going to be about uh, putting some frets in a uh, Rich and Taylor banjo. Belongs to a friend of mine. And uh, he, somebody's played it a lot. I don't know how long he's had it, but, but it's been played quite a bit. You can see the frets are pretty deep. Here's a here's an idea of something you don't want to do. You don't want to super glue the nut in an instrument because it makes it some poor old fellow like me that's trying to work on it later on needs to take the nut out of it. Now I got to make a nut for it. Here's a shot of me uh, touching up my tip on my sorter gun here. This is what what I learned from Frank Ford among other things. So I, I've kind of wore it down. Take a sorting iron like this and you, you cut the end off of it. And then I'm cutting some little grooves in there. I don't know if you can see them or not, but just cutting out a place to go over the fret. And by modifying this soldering iron like this, you get a lot more heat out of it. It doesn't take long at all to heat these things up. We're going to take some 180 sandpaper and smooth these little nibs off on the uh, where the frets were. There's a little nib sticking up there that a lot of times they leave when they fret one at the factory. But we're going to sand these things down smooth. We switched to some 220 and now we got some 400 sandpaper that we're working on this fingerboard with. We're going to measure the width of these frets. They're just about 80 thousandths of an inch. Alright, here's a piece of Stuart McDonald 147 fret wire. And here's my homemade print bending jig. We're in the process of uh, making sure these print slots are clean. Don't have any residue down in there.
Here we're nipping off the ends of these frets that we just drove in this thing. We left them hanging over the edge a little bit. Here's a shot of us running our little homemade tool alongside the frets. Uh, we've already wicked some thin CA glue down in the slot and we're getting the uh, cleaning up the what ran out from under there with this little tool. I learned this from working with those frets. Used to take the fretboard up with them masking tape, but I learned it. This electrical tape works a little better. Here we're finishing up with some 320 and some 400 grit sandpaper on these corners of these frets. We're going to cover this fingerboard up. And I've learned to use this electrical tape. It's a lot tougher than that masking tape is. Now we're going to take a magic marker and darken the top of these threads. This clip shows us running a file over the top of these frets and when we we get the black off of the fret we know we're down to where it's true. We're starting this crowding process here. This is a diamond tip. Thing that I modified. Rounded over, made it kind of a safe edge deal. Three sixty grit.
This is some 400 grit paper and uh, wrapped around a piece of eraser or art gum or whatever you'd like to call it. It's flexible enough that it kind of conform to the size of that print. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, that's close enough for you to see or not. Maybe I'd zoom in on it here a little bit. Now we're going to take the tape off of the fingerboard. This is a little Stuart McDonald deal. It's a real fine file. Well, we're fabricating a little bone nut. This is a real thin nut. We're going to use some of this here Elmer's glue all on the nut. You mainly put it on the end that uh, butts up against the fingerboard, the end of the fingerboard. And maybe the next person that works on this thing won't have to go through all this like I did. Proportional dividers is what it is. And we've got three slots on this thing, so we're going to set it on three. We're, uh, we're applying some mineral oil to this fingerboard. Already made a nut and put on it. Did a quick polishing on the metal. Alright, we're going to put some strings on this thing. And you probably seen people putting strings on before. But we're slotting the uh, cutting the slots in this uh, nut. We've got our little gauge here set up. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me turn it around that way a little bit. This is a tool that to... actually got it from Stuart McDonald, but that's not the same gauge that was on it. We're reading uh, 20 thousandths right there on that first string. And we need to take just a little off. I went a lot of years without having this thing and tried different ways of measuring this and they all work all right but 
this is about the best about the best system I found alright we took two thousands off there <clears throat> Well, here's a little clip of the finished product here. Got it strung up. Polished a little on the metal. Lightly polished it. I didn't take it apart, but did what I could the quick way. Put his spikes back in at the A and B. And the That's the finished job.